Welcome to another podcast. Today we have the pleasure with John Wesley Harden. Welcome Mr. Harden to the podcast How Are You? Thanks for having me Natasha, I'm doing okay. Robert is going to be doing the narration. We can follow up afterwards. You may begin Robert. Thank you Natasha and hello John, I will begin. As per historical records, John Wesley Hardin's family owned slaves during his childhood. Hardin's father, James Gipp Hardin, was a Methodist preacher and a slave owner who supported the Confederacy during the American Civil War. It was common for families in the southern states, including Texas where Hardin was born, to own slaves during that time period. Growing up with slaves would have exposed Hardin to the institution of slavery and the social dynamics that prevailed in a society where slavery was legal. He would have witnessed firsthand the exploitation and subjugation of enslaved individuals by their owners, as well as the racial inequalities and injustices that were prevalent in the antebellum South. It's worth noting that the experience of growing up with slaves could have had a significant impact on Hardin's worldview, values, and attitudes towards race and social hierarchies. However, it's difficult to ascertain the exact influence of this experience on Hardin's later actions and behavior as an outlaw and gunfighter, as various factors likely contributed to his lawless and violent tendencies, including his family's support for the Confederacy, the aftermath of the Civil War, and the lawlessness of the Wild West era. It's important to consider the complexities of history and the multiple factors that my can shape an individual's life is and actions. Immeasurable. John Wesley Hardin, 1853 to 1895, was an American outlaw and gunfighter of the Old West. He gained notoriety for his violent and lawless ways, and he is estimated to have killed at least 27 people during his lifetime. Hardin was born in Bonham, Texas, and grew up in a turbulent period following the American Civil War. Hardin became known for his quick temper and propensity for violence from a young age. He became involved in various criminal activities, including cattle rustling, gambling, and gunfights. Hardin was known for his exceptional marksmanship and his skill with a revolver, which earned him a reputation as one of the deadliest gunslingers of his time. Hardin's criminal activities and violent tendencies led to numerous clashes with the law, and he spent several years in prison for various offenses. However, he managed to escape from prison multiple times and continued his life of crime upon his release. In 1877, Hardin was finally captured and sentenced to 25 years in prison for murder. While in prison, he studied law and converted to Christianity. He was released on parole in 1894 and began practicing law in El Paso, Texas. However, his reformed ways did not last long as he was shot and killed in a saloon brawl in El Paso on August 19, 1895, at the age of 42. John Wesley Hardin's life and exploits have been the subject of numerous books, articles, and films, and he is often remembered as one of the most notorious and deadly outlaws of the Wild West era.